guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Tuesday for me, and I also think Tuesday for you. The vlogs basically come out a week after they are filmed. <laughs> oh, okay. I've just been filming so many vlogs that I'm like too far ahead with them that we are now a week ahead. Starting off the day with this dirty chai with the disgusting cold brew. This is the best way to drink it, honestly, because it really disguises the flavor. I really did not sleep well last night, so I thought I would go for a heavy hitter of a drink for the morning. Lots of caffeine in that, I think. I don't know, I was just tossing and turning all night. Like, I just kept thinking of new ideas for videos and things that I wanted to do and things that I wanted to talk about in videos. So my mind was just racing and I, like, could not sleep. So I'm a little groggy this morning, but just did a little bit of skincare too. Hopefully wake me up a little bit. Also made that, which should help. Today, we are gonna go back to the house and do some more work over there. I am so excited for you guys to see Friday's video, which is week one of the renovation slash a lot of demo. Seriously having so much fun. So I'm so excited to get over there again today. I was telling my dad yesterday, I feel like by the time I move in, it's already gonna feel like home because I'm going over there all the time right now. Today, I don't exactly know all of the work we're doing, but I do know that I'm getting one of my new locks delivered. So we're gonna be replacing the garage one just uh for security reasons as my dad does he makes things extra safe extra secure which i'm very very thankful for actually while i'm on the topic of my father i figured i would answer some of your questions because i've seen a lot of them what the fuck does your dad do because he seems to do everything my dad studied mechanical engineering in school and that's what he started his career doing and then he ended up moving into business and running businesses for the rest of his career. But when he was younger, like high school, university, he worked in landscaping and moving. My father is the jack of all trades. He can do everything. He has the skill set of a million people. It really is unbelievable. Like the man does it all. He does it all and he wants to do it all. That is the crazy part. For example, yesterday we were talking about what we're gonna do to the backyard and all of the plans for it. And he was like, you know, we can save you a lot of money if we just do it ourselves. I was like, well, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to concrete and like all of it. And he said, well, I do. I like did that for many, many years. So, like I'll just do it myself and i was like dad like i don't you don't need to do this you know you can chill and he was like no like why not i'll save you some money and it'll be fun <laughs> he just en literally enjoys this and i get to <laughs> appreciate it it's really really nice i'm very grateful that i have a father that is so hands-on and so handy and so <laughs> nice and kind and generous and i have a million words for my dad he's um the greatest man. I don't, I'll never meet a man that is as good as my father. Like just never will. And then on the other side of things, I have my mom, the most supportive woman in the world who was equally generous and kind and amazing. The two of them together create this loving, supportive family that I am so grateful to be a part. Oh my God, am I gonna cry this morning? No, I'm not. I'm just so grateful to have literally the best family in the world. <laughs> I, think, I think I have the greatest family. Together, the qualities that my parents have create everything that a child could ever ask for to thrive in this world. <laughs> and I'm so grateful that I happen to be blessed to be their child. And I'm just, I have a very, very loving and supportive family. And I know that's not the case for everyone. And I am very, very grateful for it. I think about it actually every night before I go to sleep. I think what a fulfilling life I'm going to live here. Not that I think my life in LA was, wasn't fulfilling. I think it was perfectly fulfilling for what I needed it to be at the time. But I think about my future here and, oh my God, we've gone into a whole conversation at the beginning of this vlog. <laughs> here we are. But I just think about the future of my life and how fulfilling it'll be to have all of these people in my life on the daily. And I just feel really good about being here. I feel, as I've said, nervous about going back there and having to, you know, like settle and close that chapter for real, because I haven't really done that, even though mentally it feels like I've done that, which is odd, because I'm gonna have to go back to a chapter that I've mentally closed and like go back into it. I don't really like the idea of that. I was telling my mom that yesterday, I started crying actually. So I was talking about the things that Jill and I used to do and how sad it makes me that I'm not there to just see her and do those things with her. And my mom was like, well, you know, it's not forever. It's so easy to forget that like, this is not normal life. We're not living normal times right now. You know, like when life, opens up again, which I'm hoping by 2022. I don't have any expectations of it happening anytime this year. At this point, it just feels very far off. We now have a new travel ban, but when the world opens up, I need to remember that I can go to LA like every single month. I can go and spend two weeks every single month there if I wanted to. I'm not saying I would. I'm still gonna have work over there. So I'll still be doing a lot of like the normal things that I would do there. But the difference is that I wouldn't be living there full time and I would just travel there for what is needed and when I want to, which will be different, but you know, I, I get this life too. We have gone into a ramble fest this morning. Way to start off the vlog, Tara. Yes. 
I feel like it's pretty clear I have a lot going on in my head right now. Therefore, lack of sleep and then waking up to talk about it. <laughs> then I think about the new house and how much I'm loving it. Like every time I'm there, it's starting to legitimately feel like home, which is weird because it's not gonna look anything like it looks right now when I move into it and it is my home, but I'm just feeling more and more comfortable there and really loving it. Like I love it so much. I think the space is absolutely perfect for me in so many ways. And I'm just so excited to like move in and actually make it my home and have all of my things and go back to LA and get some of my favorite things, get my Switch, play Animal Crossing again, get my Dyson Airwrap because I, I'm very sad I didn't bring it here. I feel like everyone is talking about the Dyson Airwrap right now. And I am very sad that mine is sitting collecting dust in Los Angeles right now. I just can't wait to have all of my things back and set up my life here and it's weird because it feels like it's kind of on pause even though I have been living here for almost six months in March it'll be six months and that is insane I never ever thought when I came back here that it would be six months later that I would go back anyways that's our fun little morning convo of the day it is currently 10 a.m I'm gonna do some work I have a lot of editing I want to do I really couldn't sleep and I kept coming up with ideas and I kept opening my phone to write them down so now I just want to get started on them so I'm gonna work on some videos and then I will check back in before I go to the new house also tonight we are going to make the viral TikTok recipe the feta pasta I am so excited I got all of the ingredients yesterday yesterday. I am so stoked to make it. So that's going to be tonight's dinner and I cannot wait. Okay. I've been working and I'm about to get myself ready for the day, but I wanted to show you guys my pajamas of the day. I got these in last night and they're so comfy. I can't even tell you. But yeah. So I got this set from a store called Nayway, which translates to inside out. Basically the meaning behind the name is that they wanted their customers to feel free from the inside and out. And I got to tell you the way that I feel wearing this it is next level. It is so comfortable. You can definitely wear this just as an outfit. I did sleep in it last night, so therefore technically pajamas. Just a cute little loungewear set that I am now gonna be obsessed with. Like it's very, very soft. This material is just insane. They actually sent me a few other things as well that I will show you guys. The store carries activewear, loungewear, as well as lingerie. We will start with the PJs because you guys know how much I love my PJs. When I saw this on their website, I was like, I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna feel like I'm in a bougie little hotel and pretend that I am anywhere but this apartment. Look at this top and tell me you're not like a bougie bish in a bougie hotel. So we have this like creamy with the black detailing. I'm obsessed. And then of course we have the matching bottoms. I love this. This makes me so happy. So here are the bottoms. Of course, they have the same black detailing. They use the highest of quality eco-friendly materials for all of their designs and their pieces. And they also use eco-friendly shipping materials. So they just came out with this new innovative line called Barely Zero, which is basically a bra that's been designed out of these fabrics that will adjust and conform to your body as you wear it. The bra actually fits anyone. It's one bra between like an A size and then a double D, which is incredible. They do have a matching brief, but I just picked out the bra. This is so soft just right off the bat let me tell you oh my god this has to be the most comfortable bra I have ever felt in my life and like the stretch factor is insane does not feel like it's gonna break at all either basically they wanted to help eliminate the stress of finding the right bra size and something that fits right I'll actually wear this today so I can let you know so their barely zero bra is $35 and then there's also a set that you can get with the matching briefs which is $42 and you get 16% savings which is nice a huge thank you to Nayway for sending me these pieces and working with me I'm very excited to feel my bougiest and my comfiest. Everything will be linked down below or just check out nayway.life to check out some of these pieces and their other stuff. They have so many cute pieces online. Okay, now I have to get myself a little bit more together to head over to the house and do more work. I wanna change into something that I don't really care as much to get a little dirty because we're gonna be ripping up drywall and stuff. So I'm gonna change into this and then we'll get ready to go to the house. Okay, if there's anything you just took from that haul, it's the bra. This is the comfiest thing I have ever worn in my life. The Barely Zero. I, I'm shook. This bra feels like I, I just hugged myself. I'm not kidding. Maybe it's been a long time since I've hugged somebody, but this is insane. Like this is the bra that you wear for fun because you want to wear it, not because you have to wear it. And like no bra strap marks in the back too, which is a huge win. I put it on my body and immediately I was like, oh my God, like you guys need to try this. It's insane. Here's my fit by the way, just threw on some sweats and little black top. Here we are. Okay, we are here at the house. We are doing things. We are going yes. over 
<laughs> we're going over some challenges that we discovered we have yesterday and finding solutions to those challenges, which I think we are making do with. We're installing my lock right now. Um, you guys will see all of this in Friday's video, but that's kind of what's going on. My brother made these delicious like bread rolls. What, what's it called? Like a dinner roll. Dinner roll. He just made them for fun last night. So I have some here with me, which I am excited to try. Currently 1.30. We've been here for like an hour already. They do say third time's a charm. <laughs> Working on some things. We're having some challenges, um, but it's going to be fine. We're going to get it figured out. What? If you can keep that in. I ran over that little thing on the bottom. This thing? No, down there. Let's see if it works. Please. Yes. Yeah. This is good news. Things are working out. Well. Well. Get ahead of yourself. Okay. Unconfirmed. There. Yeah. And that's it for day three. 3.30, we are done for the day. Another successful day at the house. Uh, we're heading back to my apartment. I have to do a quick errand when I get back and then just gonna do some work for the afternoon. How about you? Yep. <laughs> Same for Mitch. Okay guys, I am home. I actually don't have to do that errand. I scheduled a pickup for it instead of going out and walking there. I thought I was gonna go to Canada Post. I have to return something, but it's actually a FedEx package and there's not one close to me. So I'm just gonna schedule a pickup for tomorrow, nice and easy. But I have so much work to do this afternoon. It is currently 4.15. That is gonna be me for the rest of the afternoon. Going to be very, very, very busy. And then I am so excited because we're gonna have a bomb ass dinner tonight. At least I think it's gonna be good. It looks incredible. I can't imagine it being bad. All the ingredients are yummy things. So I'm very excited. It's gonna be amazing. So I will check in when I'm done, but I have to do something really fast. Okay guys, my brain feels slightly fried. I'm not gonna lie. Like I've just been all over the place with work today, but it's currently 6.40. I'm starting on dinner. My mom sent this little baking pan with my dad because I told her I was gonna make this today and I didn't have any. So we are going to make the TikTok feta pasta recipe that is like everywhere. If you haven't seen it, that's okay. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. Okay, we need grape tomatoes and a, oh no, wait a second. Oh no! This might not be feta cheese. This might be goat cheese. Cannot confirm. It does say goat, but it looks like feta. We're making this either way. I feel pretty confident that this is feta. We'll just try a little bite. This looks like feta to me. That's feta cheese. Does that not say goat? Am I seeing something different? First step, we're gonna throw in our tomatoes. And then you just take the little block of cheese and you put it right there in the middle. Get on in there. Then you just drizzle everything with some olive oil. Then you just salt and pepper it. Pepper. I'm supposed to have some, I think, oregano, and I don't have that, so I'm gonna use some chili flakes. I like spice over here. And then you just throw this in at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. I'm really excited for this. And that's it for now. So this is, this is nice, this is quick. Honestly, this looks really yummy and nothing has happened yet. I just like the way that this looks. I'm very excited. Okay, I have my water ready to start to boil when things are getting a little bit closer to being done, which is obviously not quite yet because this is still preheating. Okay, it's happening. I am so excited. Ooh. Yum. Pasta will be ready in one minute. Wow, it looks quite delicious. Pasta over here, wow. Okay, so now we put on some fresh basil and some garlic. So I have some fresh basil right here ready to go. A little sprinkle, added the garlic. Now we just mix. Oh my God. I mean, didn't really know how much pasta to make, so I just made like half a box. Oof. You guys, it looks so good. Just added a little topping of pepper and some chili flakes, and we're gonna try it. I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready. I've been seeing this all over TikTok for days. Are you kidding me? This is very good. This is very good. The tomatoes are insane. You like creamy sauce? You guys know, like insane. It's insane. This is so good. I am so happy right now. Wow. And I have leftovers, so I have for lunch. To this is a dream. Highly recommend you try this. It's really freaking bomb. I'm definitely gonna keep making this like very, very easy and 
delicious. Okay. I need to put on a show and thoroughly enjoy this with some kind of TV on. We're gonna watch more Sex and City. Episode six, season one. All right, guys, I just got into my PJs. They are so cute, so comfy. They're actually the petite size, so they fit me like perfect. I took a shower. I had like a really nice me night, just like some skincare and chill music, and it was really, really nice. And now I am ready to crawl into bed and watch some TV. So I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I love you, and I will see you in the next vlog. Good night. Thank you.